many of my clients ask me, what should I do after an accident or injury? The first thing you need to make sure you do is to document the circumstances surrounding the, energy, uh, the uh, accident or injury. So if it's an automobile accident, there's property damage involved. Uh, it's a great idea to photograph with your cell phone or uh, your camera the scene of the accident to show the location of the vehicles, to show the damage to your vehicle and the other vehicles involved in the accident, to show the, the circumstances surrounding the accident. It's also a good idea to look around to see if there's any witnesses to the accident, anybody that might have seen what happened, and to get their names, their numbers, their uh, contact information so that you can follow up or I can follow up later to talk about these individual independent witnesses and get their perspective of what happened and what they saw and what they heard, what they experienced at the time of the injury and the accident. It's also very important that you document your own injuries. If you've got broken bones or, or uh, cuts, scratches, wounds, uh, it is important that you document those throughout the process, not only the initial injury, but the documentation of the healing process, photographs of those. I also have my clients prepare impact statements at various points in time from the uh, initial injury all the way up to complete recovery or ongoing uh, uh, recovery so that uh, at various points in time, they look back and are able to say, what is the effect of these injuries, uh, this accident on my life? And they look at how it affects their daily activities of living, brushing their teeth, combing their hair, running uh, to, er to do errands, groceries, physical activities that they do, taking care of their family, things around the house where they're vacuuming or mopping, doing laundry, doing dishes, cleaning the house, various interactions with human beings, various activities they look at that are normally a part of their everyday life that are affected by those injuries and the consequences of the accident. Those are the things I like to let my clients know about in terms of being aware of what they should do after an accident.